that's what you live for as a player. You know, big game on Sunday, first place on the line, all that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the next game ahead. Uh, we've been talking about it for the past few weeks, man. I think this, you know, I, I think I said two to eight, two games ago, you know, I think this was kind of like the turning point of, you know, we're talking about the good and great and all that different stuff. I think we have opportunity to be great, but uh, we still had to take it one game at a time. And this Houston game is, is, is a big game. It's a division game. We know that we need this one. We can't focus or worry about anything beyond this one. We just had to focus on trying to beat the Houston Texans. You face that offense every day in practice. What's changed that's made them so much better from the first half of the season? Um, I mean, honestly, I, I can't see a lot. I mean, I think those guys are really just rolling. I think they're executing a lot better. Uh, the offensive line's playing better. I think Derrick Henry's getting a lot of carries. He's running the ball well. Tannehill's firing the ball downfield. AJ Brown's playing well. I don't think it's like, you know, a secret formula or anything like that. I think guys are just executing a lot better than they were before. You've seen DeAndre Hopkins a lot. You guys have. Um, you know, what makes him such a good, a good receiver? I mean, I, th I think he's a, he's a great receiver when it comes to he runs really good routes. I think he has probably the best, if not the best hands in the NFL. Uh, guys gets, he gets, he gets a ton of targets. So uh, he's getting a ton of targets. He's been that number one guy. He makes big plays down the field. Uh, and I think another good thing about him, he understands that guys going to try to press him and try to disrupt routes. And I think he does a great job of, you know, fending guys off and still getting open and making plays when his quarterback scrambles. So it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly huge this week. Uh, I don't think we've played our best red zone defense this year, period. And uh, that's something that has to improve immediately. And especially dealing with this team, I think late in the year, in December, December football, you want teams when they get in the red zone to kick field goals. Because, I mean, honestly, I think our field goal block team is probably one of the best in the league. So if we can force them to kick field goals, I think, you know, they're either going to miss it or we're going to block it. So that's kind of the way we think in our, in our team uh, locker room.